Hey, <clears throat> not sure if I'm going to post this, but I keep seeing myself play with cards in my head, and there's like some strange idea that I have, but I don't know that I have it. <laughs> Do you hear that? I don't know, let's just go with it, see what comes up. Man, it looks so dark. Um, is that better? That looks better. Okay. By the way, I've had like guidelines in my head about this for today. I don't want to do any past energy. I don't want to do any present energy. I don't want to deal with any um, love issues or career things or family relationships. None of those things. I want to do something completely unknown. Like I don't, I don't even want to think about what I'm reading about. I just kind of want to open up to to source and and see what like the unexpected and unexpected places is what I just heard so let's see I've already cleared the space I've done the prayers even like the guides have been kind of I feel like I'm in a classroom and the guides are watching me I'm seeing cards flipped out, but I'm not seeing these cards being flipped out. What deck is that? <laughs> Look what I found earlier. They're little tiny cherub, um, like, oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. I didn't even know I had these. I was going through my, my little mini library in the cabinet. Aww. And I found these in the in the corner in a little box. Card says, "Whom do you enjoy being with?" But I thought it said, "Who do you feel you belong with?" Don't let others make you feel bad. Aww. Sleep and rest. I'm feeling like there's Christmas lights all around me, but they're flying around like little fairies. Spend time with pets and what makes you feel happy. One more, thank you. There is nothing to fear. Imagine yourself happy. Okay. I made this deck years ago, and I only ever made one copy of it. <laughs> and I used it a few times. And then I stopped using it for like almost two years now. see it? It's supposed to be this way. But it's this way. It's like the, the dark illuminating the light instead of the light from outside illuminating the dark inside. It feels like somebody had had an epiphany. I wonder what you had in the paper. Nope, I don't wonder. Let's just keep. <laughs> Let's just keep shuffling. <clears throat> so 
another one. Why am I seeing a little otter? Son of a bitch. Half that deck just flew out the other way. I keep seeing a field of grass, but the grass turns into these wildflowers of every single color. And the red ones and yellow ones are being really prominent. And then there's like fairies jumping up and down on each leaf, like on each petal of the flower to the other one. What a pretty image. The ram. The stag at the bottom of the deck. Oh, there's a baby and a mama ram in the back. Two babies. And a little bird. Oh look, I thought he was defensive, but he's actually smiling. He looks proud, he's like, look, that's my family over there. That's cute. This entire reading feels so adorable. It's like little baby energy. It's so... <laughs> I don't know. It's like cute and cuddly. It feels really earthy. Like I'm sitting in a forest doing this right now. How funny. <laughs> okay, um, what about, no, 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 well, okay. This feels like a totally different energy all of a sudden. <clears throat> Death and the Singer of Initiation backwards. It's almost like telling me, well, let me, let me focus on this for a minute. Eight, nine. Eight, six. You ended something in your life and you began a new stage or a new phase almost like you were enlightened by something that you had realized from a place you refused to look in the dark. It's almost like realizing that the refusal to look in the dark was the epiphany itself, that that, that was the light. It, it's kind of remind like, like this. I thought he was aggressive, but he's actually smiling. There was no need to defend. The, the, the bird that came in with the message wasn't the threat, it was a messenger. So the, the little ram is like, oh, hey, little bird. Like you overcame something within you that was blocking you. Whom do you enjoy being with? Don't let others make you feel bad. Sleep and rest. Spend time with pets. What makes you feel happy and there is nothing to fear? How interesting how these cards are all saying the same thing. And then the three of wands. Waiting for something but being afraid of the outcome. And then there's nothing to fear right above it. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing the last unicorn deck being shuffled, but I'm sh actually shuffling the fairy deck. Okay, point taken. Um, sorry. And I keep being told, just be quiet.
to hire him. I just heard they have to figure it out on their own. Just keep shuffling. Three of Wands again. Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands. Now I just heard, okay, now show them the cards. <clears throat> Don't say anything, just show them the cards. Well, no, the deck is upright like this. Right? Oh, it's all shuffled. Okay, so that in reverse, that upright, ten of wands. Oh, You know these taste like licorice? Be careful though. Well, a specific brand of this, or a specific strain of this flower, um, do your research, okay? Please do your research because there's a, a lot of toxic varieties. But this specific one grows little seed buds that come out of it once the flower dries out and they taste like licorice. And I'm being asked to share, share this with you. The, the properties of licorice are really good for the digestive tract and like um, the skin, believe it or not. So there's something about your intuition maybe the gut the the in, in inner the inner test the intestines and and licorice i hate licorice my, like myself i once bought licorice candy and i ate one piece and the bag's been sitting in the like pantry for six months <laughs> it's so gross but i should, probably should eat a licorice huh Okay, you know, I want to do another spread. I'm going to share with you really quick that this, all of this, let me get a bigger, like a higher up view. You already know what this is. You already know who you enjoy being happy with. You already know how to, to control your emotional state so others don't cross your boundaries or you cross theirs so this can be taken in both ways kind of like um you know when someone says something snarky and you want to say something snarky back like being aware of that and kind of holding yourself back being you know at rest within yourself before you make an action even if that act or that fear in you the flat fight or flight you know you become you've kind of become aware of that because first and foremost, who do you enjoy being happy with or who do you enjoy being with is yourself. You gotta be okay with yourself before you can be okay around other people, right? So you figure this out because this card is coming from, it's bringing illumination from the dark to the outside. So something from your inner world, your intestines, your intuition that changed, like it improved, you, it illuminated you from the inside out this whatever blockage that was going on some lesson had to be learned and you move through that phase you're not stuck in that phase these cards of waiting it's like from youth to old age you've been waiting to find a way to free yourself right well you've had the key all along and now there's that light again from over there it was hiding in the dark the key was the fear itself it was like walking into a funhouse mirror and somebody like, you know, scaring you or stuff in the, like a Halloween house. Like the point is to be scared and be aware of that fear and actually go process it and keep moving, right? You're not going to walk into a haunted house and just stop right by the door and be like, nope, too scary. Like, you know, complete stagnation, just constantly waiting. But you're not waiting 
for anything anymore. Because it's kind of like the the vagus nerve, the it goes right along the leg, and it when that leg isn't massaged, when it's not in motion, it, or when there's anxiety in the body, that leg could cause a lot of nerve pain throughout the body and and like panic attacks. It's a very subtle. So like going into movement and grounding and stretching your legs more and energetically because your legs are the way you move through the world and that's the energy of your movement you've been holding yourself back from even imagining yourself happy and moving towards that happiness because of this strange fear and it was almost a fear of having that fear removed do you see how like weird and nonsensical it seems it's like a child being afraid of a, a sand pit, but when you put it in the sand pit to play, it starts making sand castles out of the sand. It's like, it's this prison that this unicorn was in wasn't even held by it, and it was like a illusion that was keeping it in place. So when the magician tried to touch it or tried to break it with curses, it just, it wouldn't respond. He, when he tried to disenchant it, it wouldn't respond. The simplest way to open it was that key. To acknowledge that it's what it is and you're not stuck in there, the key is you opening the door. It's like holding on to something for so long and then being afraid to let it go because it changes the foundations of what you've been living on. It's like, um, <clears throat> I just heard a grudge, a grudge released, I'm, and I'm seeing the movie The Grudge Part 1, Part 2, like something's been re released. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Tower, Magician, Eight of Cups. <laughs> All that to say, who do you enjoy being with? When you imagine yourself happy, who do you enjoy being with? In your dreams, who do you enjoy being with? Who do you enjoy being with one step at a time? Not 10 years from now, not 100 years from now, or like 6 months from now, but like right now, and the next thing you want to experience right now. The first single step. The first little step. Before even a reaction was made, I like, you know, oh, it's aggressive. And I was like, oh, no, there's a baby feeding there. It's probably protecting the baby and the family. And then I was like, wait, there's no enemies in here. So it's probably just saying hi. And then I noticed, like, it's not angry. It's smiling. Because even the bird isn't in flight. It's sitting there gently. And look at how goofy that snake looks. <laughs> This is the weirdest reading I've ever done, in the best possible way. Aww. Again with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords twice. Okay. That I just felt like a sting in me. <sighs> Don't let your paranoid thoughts make you think that people are going to respond to you the way you assume they will. When this unicorn was in this cage, she was, like, people would watch her, and each of them had a very profound response to it, but only one had this response to her. Like, as if it, she really saw the real unicorn. This individual what seemed like the villain of the story but in reality he was like the biggest victim of the story in in the story one of them at least or god it was such a it's such a good book he loves the unicorns loves 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 them but he, he loves them so much he's obsessed with them he saw them in his youth and ch like tried to find them again but that corrupted his innocence so he kept he hired the Red Bull through this curse and a magician to chase all the unicorns down and capture them because they were the only thing that makes him happy. In this scene, 
the magician is trying to make him happy with something else, but all he keeps thinking about is the unicorns. I feel like there's nothing left to say. There's something going on that results in a sensation of ecstasy. And it's all up to you. It has to be internal to you first. Because the lovers are over here too. And the lovers are first and foremost within you. Not all those around you. <laughs> so walk away from all those, you know, bottles and whatever there is. The cups, the relationships. Like put all that aside. And really look at what your heart is pointing at. Like just sitting there playing with a little ducky. Who do you enjoy being with? Yourself. A ducky. Is there another one of you out there that you can spend time with? Maybe like there's a friend among you or like in a community you're in that you've been kind of avoiding because you're afraid of doing something like some shyness. It's like such innocent little like misguided energy misguided intentions i'm gonna go <laughs> i gotta get my coffee you guys have an awesome day thank you for everything and i love you take care of yourselves if i posted this then like have fun with it because this is really cute there's literally nothing to fear just notice the fear and realize it's keeping you from your happiness and that you don't have to keep fighting the fear so like if you really want ice cream and you're like oh but i'm gonna get fat well you just eat the ice cream and change the i will get fat to you know your booty is gonna be super thick <laughs> like make better conversations in your head don't don't let the expectations of others or what you perceive others will think of you if, you know be mental affirmations in your own mind. Be like the stubborn friggin' ram. Like, stand your ground no matter what you're facing, but don't react. Wait until you know with temperance, like, is it something truly to be afraid of? Or is it the, the nine of swords? Just like, things constantly in your head that don't make sense. And really, when they don't make sense, it's because there's there's no sense to them so why even think about something that doesn't make sense what does make sense maybe it doesn't have to make sense now but one step at a time what will make sense with it you know like you're planting the seed and first step is what getting the soil getting the seed and then you do the other stuff but first it's the first thing you gotta do everything will be okay Oh, that's so cute. I'm so glad I found this deck. Thank you, universe. Thank you. I love card decks. I, I want, like, <laughs> so many. I don't know where I'd put them, though. I mean, <clears throat> I guess I can get some shelves. Maybe a little drawer. Oh, I think I'm going to go to the store. Get a little. They got these cute bucket, like these little boxes. But then I'm gonna have all these boxes here. Ugh. I'm gonna go.